Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of dividing whole numbers and unit fractions. This is standard 5.3L in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 27 of the 2023 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so we have a recipe for a batch of cookies that calls for one quarter or one fourth teaspoon of salt. And a container of salt has 12 total teaspoons. All right, so how many batches of cookies? Well, let's visualize this here, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw, let's just draw my 12, my larger unit, right? Because that's my total. Uh, I'm just going to do a 4 by 3 rather than all 12 together, but that's still going to be my total. We could do a strip diagram in just a moment. Let's pretend these are all the same size, which obviously I didn't make them that neat. That's fine. So take a look at this. A recipe for a batch of cookies only needs one fourth, right? So if this is one teaspoon, right, because I've got 12 total, I only need one fourth of that. So let's cut this into fourths. And I only need, you know, one fourth. There we go. So that's what I need for a batch of cookies. How many batches of cookies can be made? Well, with just this teaspoon, I can make four batches, right? Because that's a fourth, that's a fourth, that's a fourth, that's a fourth. Four fourths, four batches that will use that entire teaspoon. But that's just one teaspoon of 12 teaspoons. So I could do another four here, another four here, another four here. Now rather than continuing to do that, let's just figure out what's my pattern here. Right, so I've got four, eight, twelve, I've got sixteen batches in this row, which means since this is identical, that's going to be sixteen, that's going to be sixteen. Okay. So if I add sixteen, 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 right, what is that going to be? Forty eight. So I'm thinking it's going to be 48 batches. Is there another way to represent this? Well, we could have done a strip diagram, right? So let's do uh, my whole. Okay, so let's do something really long here. And this is going to be my 12 teaspoons. Okay, now I'm going to try to break this into twelfths. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it in half, break each half in half, and then if I take each fourth and break that into thirds, I've got twelfths. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so I've got my whole. Those are my twelve teaspoons of salt. Take a look at this. I could. The vertical lines are going to be too much, but I can do like this, right? Watch. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? If I do this all the way across, break up each of these twelfths into fourths or quarters. Now, how many little tiny squares do I have? Once again, that's a lot, but I'll save you the trouble, right? It goes 12 times 4, so that's going to be 48. So this is what we're looking at. We're looking at, we have a total of 12. We divided it, right, either representation by one-fourth, but we ended up making it bigger. I thought when you divide it, you made a number smaller. Well, that's if you divide by a whole number. If you divide by a fraction, you actually increase it. We know that dividing by a number is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal, right? So if you divide by 2, this is the same as multiplying by 1 half. So I'm going to take my 1 fourth, and I'm going to flip it over to 4 over 1, which is just 4. And instead of dividing by 1 fourth, I can also represent this by multiplying by the reciprocal. 12 times 4, which is what I got. Both representations, 48. So that is going to be my answer, B, 48.